and welcome to my channel. I'm the Angry Simmer and today we're going to be doing a shopping with the Angry Simmer video. That's right, we're looking for Cece and I was kind of going through Lana Sims finds on Tumblr um, trying to decide if there was enough content on here to make a video for you guys and when I saw this I had to stop. I was like, this is it. I'm bringing it to the people. This isn't even going to go up on um, Monday or Tuesday like I thought it would. I'm just recording this now and I want to try my hardest to get it out today, Friday the 19th for you guys because that's when this stuff was posted. So yay! Um, that's the 19th in the in the US by the way. Sorry everybody else on the other side of the time zone. But um, <laughs> this thing right here, I think, and we talked about it in the video today actually that you guys saw, um, the cartoonish of the, of these washer and dryers and I saw this and I was like what's the difference and then I really looked at it and I was like oh the edging it's brilliant to do that and it's just a little bit clearer up here you can see just a little bit clearer here this stands out more it just this would have probably done the and been the difference that I was looking for in that washer and dryer that would have helped it just blend a little bit better with some of the other content that I have that's considered Maxis Match. So this is definitely going to be downloaded. You can see I have a couple things up here that I've already got pulled up. Mainly um, this that I will be, there's the artist right there. This is one that I'm going to be watching for because it's something I really like. And then these leggings that go with it, they're not published yet. Oh, there it went, downloaded already. Um, they're not published yet, they're listed on here on Lana's, um, but they're not up on the on the Sims resource yet, which is where you can download them, as you can see right here. So I'll let you guys know when those are up for download, because believe me, I'll be downloading them. We've talked about my CC issues. If, by the way, you're new and you love CC shopping videos, let me know in the comments, because I go CC shopping every single day. I get up, I feed my dogs and my cat, I get myself some coffee and then I go CC shopping. That is my morning. Yes, I am a housewife wasting probably two hours on that. It's okay with me though. But this is how that washer and dryer is going to come up and it'll automatically download. And since it is a file, how mine set up, instead of dropping over here into the download section, it just pops up with a little folder. So yeah, anyways. Um, so it has a sports bra, they have pants, they have a tank top, and then it also comes with this crop top. Not really my style, I don't typically play with stuff like that, so I'm not gonna get that one, but it's still, she does incredible work, so we're gonna stick with that. And then um, this hair, I thought it was a retexture of the laundry day hair, but it only requires base game. So that'll be great for a lot of people if you wanted just a little bit more fun colors into your game but you don't have all the packs like I do. So there's an awesome option for you. Um, Wildly Miniature Sandwich is an incredible CC creator. I definitely recommend if you love uh, Max's Match <laughs> Max's mass Match Piece. Good lord. Max's Match Pieces of CC. Um, I, I wasn't originally into them, but the more I've watched some of my favorite simmers and how it works with the game, I, I've started to like it. And uh, this version over here, the Leela hair with the bangs, it looks like it's the same bun and everything. I really enjoy that. So, And then another thing that I wanted to mention, because um, also if you're new here, I like creating Asian sims. <laughs> Don't know why, I've been obsessed with Japan my whole life and... As I've gotten older, I'm starting to see the beauty in like India, China, Korea, all, Thailand, all the fun stuff, um, and getting more into their culture and doing more research into their religions and government and things like that. And it's really awesome. But I also, that's a long way of saying I read manga in high school. Anyways, <laughs> um, but a lot of times I like the grandmothers in my gameplay to be traditional. And I had a kimono that I really loved. Um, for the longest time but it's broken now so I had to take it out of my game and this is just so beautiful like look at the colors look at the patterns they're amazing and so you can see it in the game there um, really cool you can see a little bit of edging there but it is with the way that the sim is stand standing and then they have some blue contacts in on this particular sim too that kind of just pulls it all in so I, li I really like that so we're gonna scroll up and uh, see if that author's name yeah so Studio K Creations you can see them on um, 
I'll, I'll link their website for you guys because yeah anyways I don't have my glasses on I can't I can't really read this section very well but we've got a couple of awesome things to start out with anyways and then we'll go back and go into um, pay let's go up here I'm gonna start back over this is the easiest way to start over is just to go back to the Sims 4 CC on there. Um, I thought these were really cute. I'm not gonna be using them or downloading them just because I can't think of a way to use them and I'm probably at like 12 or 13,000 files at this point. Um, but I did download these. I think I met I downloaded the meshes unnecessarily um, because I'm pretty sure I have them, but it's just a more Maxis Match recoloring of some Alpha CC shoes by, um, let's open that mesh up. They're by the same person. Um, so, Madeline Fashion. I always thought they were Madden shoes, like they named their, uh, their Sims channel, or not channel, but their Sims. Oh, they do have a channel. Look at that. Go check them out. I'll link it. Um, but, you know, Madden shoes, the high, I wouldn't say high end, but they're like pricier shoes that you can get at uh, Journeys here in the U.S. and then um, online, I'm sure. But, um, I These are the mesh and both of them are by them and I always tend to download these shoes and then, um, oh, who's the other person? I can't think of the other Simmer right now even though I went through a huge binge of their stuff last night. But these I put basically never download shoes from anybody else because they have so much stuff for the way that I play my game. Um, but what actually attracted to me to attracted me to this particular one is the editing style that they did. So I just love the little blue background, the skirt and the jeans that they used with, it and the bright colors. It just pops. They really know how to market what they're you know what they're not selling it, but what they've got for you. So um, thought that was really cool. So, and then you can see the kimono that was right after that that just was like, yep, I need that. And then continuing on, just some great stuff that I just didn't need to add to my, uh, to my personal game. Um, some game add-ons, which I think those are the coolest modders out there. Like, anybody making CC, incredibly talented, super difficult to do. I know, I've tried. Um, but the people that add to the game, like, actual functional... Uh, parts of the game just it blows my mind it's so difficult the coding part thank you brain for coming along sorry <laughs> only half a cup of coffee into me this morning and I'm getting ready to go to the gym so my brain is not yet functional I probably should have done this when I got back from the gym and I actually had some blood flow going to my brain look at this cute little build with this stuff with the laundry day stuff and um the vacation world I can't for some reason remember what it's called this is awesome um, so there's that hair. Love her. This I almost downloaded. It's another one of those things that the editing style caught my eye and I was like, ooh, I need that. I need it. But I don't spend as much time on my male sims as, you know, most of us talk about. So, and I, I can't think of a way to use that. Now, this swimsuit I did download because I have a lot of times where I just download bikinis. Download bikinis because a lot of people make them and not everybody wears a bikini. So, <laughs> I decided that some of my sims who are a little bit more modest, or maybe just don't feel like wearing a bikini because they, you know, they don't like them, I got them this and I'm pretty happy with it. It's, you know, bright and happy because a lot of the one pieces that we have are more like this tone where they're kind of, man, I want to show myself, but there are some sims and some folks out there that want a one piece, but they want to shine like this yellow and the, uh, or the uh, neon pink here, and I approve. Um, some great lipsticks. I didn't end up downloading those because I am way too full up on lipsticks. This is available right now on um, The Sims Resource. It's actually on their front page. I went to The Sims Resource first and only saw one thing that I really wanted, um, which was a toddler hoodie. And so I said I wasn't going to start there. But there's still, like this was on there. It's good stuff. It's high quality. It's not going to mess up your game unless your computer can't run it. It's, you know, Sims Resources is a great place to get uh, CC as long as you have, you know, ad blockers and virus protection because that one they don't try to fight you on getting, you know, turning your ad blocker off because there's one CC creator. It's a Korean creator and I love their stuff. Oh, there's that hoodie that I was talking about. That's on Sims Resource. It's really cute. I love a good sporty hoodie for a kid. Um, but 
you have to turn off your ad blocker because that's how they get revenue for what they're doing. But it also opens up your computer to a lot of nasty stuff and I just kind of like skip through. I hate saying it because she's one of my favorite creators, but I'm not risking my computer for that. I just, I'm not. Look how beautiful this is. Oh my gosh. You can get me with any sort of like blush pink or pale pink right now. And I love that, like, love this. This is my skin tone that I use for my me sims <laughs> um, when I have a tan. But yeah, that's so cute. I, yeah, I have to have it. All right, we're gonna do this. Base game compatible. Um, you're gonna recolor. She's got a PSD for you. Uh, there's those shoes. We don't need to see those anymore. Okay, Verona, Veronica Ruffle Top. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with my brain today. Also, it's been crazy weather in the U.S. and oddly enough, it's there's been more snow in the like warmer states surrounding Missouri than there has been. Ooh, I need this. Um, <laughs> super cute crop top but um, there's been more snow in the surrounding areas than here and it's usually pretty typically snowy so I don't know what's going on but the what like it's been two degrees here oh they matched together the uh, the dress and the top uh, it's really smart um, but yeah they, it's just now it's gonna be 51 today and my sinuses are just upset so if you hear nasally sound in my voice it's because sinuses this rug how cute is this how sweet I love it you can donate to the plum bob architect which I've gotten so much stuff from there I'm gonna have to at some point donate because yeah plum bob architect is really good although I, I, I was talking with somebody on um, reddit today and they had said something about mixing together Peacemaker and um, Peacemaker and the Laundry Day stuff pack and how they're having a hard time with it too. But still Peacemaker is like the you go to for awesome stuff in your game. And I was like, yep. Yeah. Oh, they put marble on it. That's how you get me. <laughs> that too. Marble and powder pink apparently. I'm not going to use it though, but it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So if you need a marble slash found objects item, um, simplistic dash Sims four, that's where you get it on Lana Sims on the, are we on the fourth page? You'll find it. It's there. Go to Lana Sims. You'll find all this greatness. Um, thank you Lana Sims finds by the way, for doing this every single day. Um, Ooh, this is a like more alpha version. This is cute. I still don't like the hips, but that's okay. I've got too many of those recolors already. This though, yeah. Uh, I wish they weren't slouching so I could see the person standing straight up. Cause if they're standing straight up and they've still got this hump in it, I don't know. All right, we're moving on. Let, and let me say first and foremost, just because I'm not going to download, say this item, doesn't mean it's not good. It just isn't my stuff. Ooh. Mm. Hmm. This though, simplicity. I like what you're doing here. Um. <laughs> sorry, but yeah, just because I I don't download it doesn't mean I don't think it's good. Doesn't mean I wouldn't recommend it. It's just not the style that I go for in my game. So, that's being said, let's keep going on. I always get burned on pictures like this. Like, they always give me a mesh and then it doesn't work. Nope. We're, we're not taking a risk. I'm going to go through today also, once I get done with this, and um, make a save file and pull out all of the CC that's broken right now in my game, all the uh, tabletops. So you can stop watching me go through trying to get the same stuff to work every time, because I hoped that it would start working for no reason. These are cute. Um, all right. You can see cake noodles underscore YF bottoms underscore daisy jeans dot package. Listen, you gotta name your files whatever you're gonna name them. But sometimes the names for this stuff reminds me of the Wish app just cause they get kinda long and overly descriptive. Really good editing on this one again. Don't need a bowl cut though, but good job. Um, 
for some reason I never get into this website like there this if you go here to John Sims um, there's like she has a really good set of she or he I don't know who um, but they had at least their website had a really good setup for um, you know filing away and getting to everything easily it just wasn't my style but I really appreciate the organization let's see what are you Sims 4 voices effects by a cute cute sim child huh alien voices Ghost voices, Grim Reaper voice. That's cool. Anyways, <laughs> uh, character values faster. So with everything in The Sims, I do have to say this could be lovely. Like the washing, I like it. I like the animation. Don't like, this is the person. Incredible stuff. I'm not turning my ad blocker off for you, I'm sorry. Love your stuff though. Love it so much. Um, Cause let me show you how this works. Marigold Sims. Um, go over here and you can scroll through and they've got really good stuff translate is that Korean or am I just silly with languages still but it looks amazing and I'm scrolling down and I do have time to you know go to Dropbox but I feel bad see turn your ad blocker off I just I can't can't do it because if I turn my ad blocker off it causes a problem all the way throughout and I just can't do it, but I love you. And I hope people who are okay with just going to your site will go and see your stuff because it's incredible. So, and I have 10 of it in my game. From my laptop that is, you know, dead because of all of the CC. Um, <laughs> actually, I wiped all the CC off of my laptop and, uh, cause my husband got me that for my birthday or Christmas a couple years ago and it's incredible. This is cute. Washing machine fixed by Little Sims. A small fix for washing machines not working with shelves. But oh, yay! Thank you, modders. Um, once again, that's on Lana Sims, but you can see. Um, so that's the Lana Sims finds thing, and then um, let's open you up here. Where do you go to? Um, little MS Sam. So little MS Sam did this fix. So you're incredible. Thank you so much for doing this. It just, sometimes the Sims team are too busy to help us out with things like this. So, and I know the Sims team was informed about it, so we don't have to worry about that. But still, um, allergic to fur trade. I, I kind of feel like that should have been put in the game too, just cause like, so funny story. Let's go back up to there while I do this chit chat. So for my birthday last year, um, I had my niece and nephew at the house and unfortunately my nephew got sick and then I got sick because you know we've talked about it. I get sick on my birthday every year but um, my my husband dropped them back off in Indiana drove back and um, because I couldn't like have birthday cake or anything because I couldn't eat um, my husband said that we could uh, do pay-per-view for the Ronda Rousey fight um, I'm a huge fan and nobody's gonna change my mind about that. I still think she's incredible. Yes, I think she should have started from the bottom all over again after that loss um, and worked her way back up, worked with her confidence, getting it boosted back up because going against Amanda was just not, it was just not gonna turn out any other way. But I had, I had hope, you know, I believe in her fighting spirit. Um, but so, um, <laughs> I say Amanda like we're BFFs. <laughs> Amanda Nunez, who is an incredible fighter and definitely deserved that belt. Um, we, my husband invited his cousin over and his cousin invited a friend with him. And totally cool with that. But we found out about halfway through the night that the cousin's friend is allergic to cats. Now, I have one cat, so there's not a ton of cat hair in the house, but she sheds in the winter for some reason, so it's worse. And my birthday's in January, by the way, and you'll all remember that uh, the Ronda Rousey fight was on the 30th of December. Yeah, 30th of December. Um, yeah. He was petting her for an hour before we found out that he was allergic to cats, and he typically says that he's, you know, not a fan of them, but my cat 
has been raised with my Malamutes. She's basically a dog herself. And so she like comes up and presents her belly to you and she doesn't scratch or bite you. She does that to my couch, of course, but not to people. So she's really cuddly and sweet, but he like had a full blown allergy attack and was perfectly happy with it because my cat Harley is adorable. So yes, yeah, so we've got uh, all kinds of fun stuff that can happen. Afraid of dogs. Uh, <sighs> sorry about that. Allergic to fur. Afraid of animals. Hates animals. I don't know about that one. Although I know people who hate animals, so I can't say anything. But yeah, this I feel like should have been part of the game. You know, just because it's it's a real life situation, and I'm trying. This is a life simulator, so you know, those are good eyebrows. Um, another one by that same creator, Little Ms. Sam. More experimental food servings. That's pretty cool. Um, and then we're back to yesterday's stuff here. So this is by this. Oh, over here the same creator great stuff by the way um all of their stuff sort of has this um maxis match meets alpha look to it where there's some like high detail with this ripple or ripple um ruching ruching here and like bright bright colors but it still looks kind of cartoony so i check them out if you like you know blurring that line Ooh, ooh, i didn't see this yesterday getting this simplistic you are simply amazing. All right, guys. So I'm going to cut it off here with this incredible marble version of Laundry Day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll do my best to link absolutely everything that I've downloaded into the description box below because, you know, this time I know I can just go through on Lana Sims. Yay! Um, but thanks again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you'd like to see more of these, let me know in the comment section. And uh, if you are new here and you'd like to see more of my stuff, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you can be notified every Monday through Friday whenever I upload videos. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you later. Bye.